Greetings Consciousness, welcome back. And so in my last podcast, we discussed the Zodiac and its correlation with the Last Supper of what many call Jesus and his disciples. And as I did mention, if you draw a cross in the Zodiac, you end up with four divisions of the Zodiac. The full circle, the 300 degree circle. You see, and when you do that, you end up with three Zodiac signs in these four divisions. And in the center of it all, you have the sun. I cannot stress the importance or the importance of the sun enough for people to understand this messiah or this messianic figure the world has been looking for has always been there the light that shines upon us every day With the right eye, you will see him every day. In all the Hermetic writings, or the Kemetic writings, the sun, whom we call Amun Ra, has always been taught to us as the greatest of all the gods. And in the sun, we are told by our ancestors the masters, that there are also beings who dwell in the sun, who is always working behind the scenes, managing our affairs as souls, not our physical, to make sure that when we find ourselves, we are directed back home. And so we are talking about this Da Vinci's depiction of uh, the Last Supper, as I did mention about the Zodiac. When you look at the Da Vinci's um, depiction of this Last Supper, you will also notice that Jesus, who is wearing red and blue, which is fire and water, so we are told our souls are also male and female because fire and water, blue and red, um, what do you call it, red? Blue representing water, which is the feminine principle and the uh, red representing the fire principle, which is the masculine principle, while the blue is a feminine principle. So we are all, in essence, bisexual by nature. And so when we look at this depiction of the Last Supper, who many who are on the outer path, which is the exoteric, but we are of the esoteric, you will immediately recognize that Jesus being in the center, you have three batches of two on each each side of him, left and right, which makes altogether four. And so I said, if you draw a cross in a zodiac, the zodiac is split in four. If you look at the, t the you know the legs of the table, you see four legs. But these four divisions. In this picture, you also see they have also grouped themselves into phrase, just as when you draw the circle, um, the, the cross rather, in the zodiac, you get three of these four elements, three signs in each box. 
which represents the four seasons and also the four elements earth, water, air and fire. As I mentioned in the last podcast, we are all created out of these four elements. That's how spirit comes into creation. And so for the average person, when they are looking at this depiction or of this uh, Last Supper, they actually believe that this is talking about Imam and his 12 disciples. But we are really talking about the 12 constellations, the 12 signs of the zodiac, which has a direct influence on us. Now the ancients in Kemet, when the earth was not lit at night, if you looked up in the heavens, you see the movement of these celestial beings or these celestial powers that influence the affairs of the earth. And so from now on, when you see this Last Supper, your mind should automatically go to the heavens and the zodiac. You see, because these Kemites, your ancestors, they were such mathematical genius. You see. And so they said, the earth is placed in the center of the cosmos, the universe. And the reason why they are so intelligent is because Kemet, whom they refer to as the Holy Land, is also in the center of the earth. You see. And so they brought heaven on earth. Their buildings were directly linked to the heavens. The positioning of their buildings were not just built. They built them to align with the heavens because they understood energy. And so they said, the human body, when it sat in a meditation posture, because the legs only carry the body, you use the hands basically to feed yourself and stuff like this, but the body itself from the waist upwards, they said the heart is also in the center of the body. And they said the heart is the headquarters of the soul. You see. And so when the soul finds itself aligned with the light, when the light shines in the heart, such as the soul is rightly guided by the beings who dwell in the light. The Son, S-U-N. This Son of God, S-U-N, is what many have attempted to make into a physical person because they understood the workings of the Son in the ancient world that this Messiah or this Messiah figure or this light has always been working and has never disappointed the creator, the father they call Atum. There, is, there has never been a day the son will say, I am not going to rise today. It is always there. It never disappears. If you have night, other continents have day. So the sun in itself is always available. We don't see it because of the rotation of the planets. So there's really never any night. We get night because the moon from creation offered us sleep. And the sun offered us joy. You see, this is the teachings of the Kemites. And so this teachings of the Kemites has been 
what religions have all borrowed from and everybody has written their version of what the ancestors once thought. You see? And so once we come to see ourselves as astral beings, souls, rather than physical beings, then our perception of life changes automatically. You see? And so this podcast really is dedicated to the Last Supper, that when you look at it, from now on, you will be able to see the link between the story in the heavens that ended up as a religion in the Bible. And so when you remove this son of God from the Bible and your attention goes back to the son, then you can understand the teachings of the Bible because it is really talking about resurrection of the soul. You see, transmutation of self. The attention should never be placed on just one man because the Christ figure, Heru, is a cosmic Christ who does not walk on two legs. And so with this said, I hope you understand the depiction of the Last Supper. It is really talking about the sun and the zodiac signs, the 12 zodiac. It's not talking about a man and 12 followers. That never existed. It is about time that we grew in terms of our mind. You see? And so when they said consciousness, I'm going to leave the podcast and we shall discuss something else next time with me. Do take care of yourselves. Peace.